Hey guys, it's me, 80s World for Four. So today, guys, we do our Champions League review for today, guys. So there will be a live stream tomorrow, guys. We're gonna discuss all four games. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and quickly go through this. So we're gonna talk about Eintracht Frankfurt versus Napoli and Liverpool versus Madrid. So let's start with the Frankfurt Napoli first, and then we'll talk about the other game later. Um, for me, man, Napoli were just too good. They were they're the real deal. And I think I have to say this, I have to owe an apology because I wasn't really convinced with what Napoli were doing in Serie A. I was like, yeah, they were they're, they're, they've been amazing, I'll give you that. But I was just not really convinced in Europe, right? Because I look at the Champions League group in particular, and I was just not really that impressed that they topped the group because of how poor Liverpool been. And I look at Frankfurt in particular, and their knack of, uh, you know, making, like, cup kind of competitions runs. And I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe there might be an upset here. And, you know, there usually is. And I will 100% take my front. I will 100% apologize. Like, this was a beatdown. Napoli should have won this game by even a bigger margin. I think the two-line scoreline is flattering to Frankfurt because Frankfurt, me, were very, very poor in the day. They were not great whatsoever. You know, Moani getting himself sent off for a very, very reckless challenge. And I got to say, man, normally I criticize Lozano. I really don't rate Lozano like that. But today he was falling on the day. He was amazing on the day getting an assist for the awesome and goal. And I think he also won the penalty as well, if I'm not mistaken. And so... Um, yeah, man, Kavrisko, yeah, man, also, man, getting those goals, man, and obviously, De Lorenzo, um, being impactful as well, and, you know, Merrick Kim and Jay was also really good on the day, man, man of the match, according to FootMob here, he was deserved, and for Frankfurt, man, the only real good players for them on the day was Trap. Trap was really good on the day, saving the penalty, of course, from Kavrisko, yeah. and, you know, look at the performance he had, he made nine saves on the day, man, this could have gone out of hand, this could have been a destruction, humiliation, and it only ends in a 2-0 loss um which i think is like i said is very flat as for merit man didn't really have to do much in the day and this tie is done i think moani being suspended for the second leg has pretty much eliminated any chance for frankfurt to make a comeback and for napoli man it's fair to say that they're in the champions league quarterfinals and they'll be uh we're gonna have an italian team in the quarterfinals which we haven't had for some time now so you know it's it's good for them man and um i'm really excited to see what um frankfurt uh, napoli can do in the quarterfinals man and so Full props to them, man. Look at the stats here, man. It was a one-show thing. I mean, look at this. 18 shots, three big chances missed. As I said, I do think the scoreline was very, very flattering to um, uh, Frankfurt and um, Napoli for me, man. It's like, uh, man, it's, it's, it's a big, big win, man. Big, big win for them. Now, let's talk about the other game. Liverpool 2, Real Madrid 5. Guys, Liverpool is officially, officially finished. And you know what the scary part is with this game? I'm not, I I I knew that Liverpool wouldn't be destroyed. I, I knew Liverpool would score in this game. And it was funny, the notion, the, the mindset was that the first 15 minutes, Liverpool were 2 0 up, that oh look, they're back, you know, it's good and all. But the thing is you have to let wait for the game to finish. You know, and I look at that Salah pass for Nunes. What a finish that was from Darnell Nunes. You know, he's been Liverpool's most informed attacker. And I actually would say this right now, I think he's Liverpool's best forward right now at the moment. And you can see how crucial he is and how important he is. And, you know, Salah scoring that G as well. Really, really good goal there. Obviously, Courtois making that big mistake. And from that point on, man, Real Madrid just upped it up a gear. And, you know, that's the thing with Real Madrid is that you never count this team off. You never write this team off, guys. And I don't know how many more times people need to know this. This team is just going to, um, they're going to keep fighting. You know, they'll fight to the very end. And that's what you have to commend with Real Madrid, even as a Barca fan here. I have to commend Real Madrid and appreciate them. Is that, yeah, they can still get it done. And I look at that Vinicius Jr. goal. What a spectacular goal that was. Outside the box, you know, getting, you know, scoring that nice goal there. And the Vinicius, man, scoring the second goal as well. Allison making that howler there. And then from that point on, man, it was all, uh, you know, from uh, you know from that point on, Real Madrid was in it. You know, Luka Modric getting that brilliant assist there for Militao for a nice header there. Rodrigo making that nice, nice pass for Benzema, which a little deflection. And then I look at um, the, the Benzema fifth goal, man. That Benzema fifth goal was nasty, man. That was so filthy, man. And the way he was able to dunk on uh, Allison like that. Oh, man. Allison was really, really bad on the day. And you can see how Madrid even played their best team. You know, you have players like Vod uh, Cruz that was been, that's been really good for Madrid this season. Didn't even play this game. You look at Ceballos, who didn't play this game. You know, and you look at um their defense in particular. They didn't even have... um. Um, Alaba play for the most of the game. He got injured, and Nacho came on. And Nacho, for me, was probably one of the worst Madrid players. I don't think he was that good on the day, but I think he got better as the game went on. Courtois was obviously really, really poor, but you have to keep in mind that this is Courtois' second game back from injury, so he had a big lengthy injury there. And yeah, uh, no, um, you know, you know, like I said, man, you look at Madrid, as I said, man, they didn't even play for Alamendi. They didn't even play Chuchemi. 
you know, that those are two important players from that. And they were able to go into this game with the likes of Benzema, who finally scored in the Champions League this season. Because let's be real, guys, Benzema this season hasn't been that good. You know, and I think for him to get those two goals was fantastic. Vinicius as well, getting those goals as well. Very, very well deserved. Modric was obviously incredible. This Real Madrid team, most of the players were really good on the day. Astro Liverpool, man. Where do you begin? Allison was really, really bad on the day. He was terrible. Alexander Arnold was getting cooked by Vinicius. Vinicius also owns Liverpool, by the way, just so you guys know. That's it's not a it's not an opinion, it's a fact. Trent Alexander Arnold was really, really poor today. Uh Bajasitic, I don't think he was that good on the day, but you gotta you can't really be mad at him because he was an 18-year-old, and so he gave away. I think he was responsible for the second um for the uh, Vinicius' second goal, I believe. And then obviously Joe Gomez was terrible. Van Dyke was terrible as well. Robertson. You know, I honestly think that um, I honestly think Gak Nunes was probably Liverpool's best player in the day, which is actually saying something. That's all for me, man. Missed too many chances, man. Missed too many chances. This tie is done, guys. This tie is done, one hundred percent. I don't see Real Liverpool making a comeback here. And you know, it's actually really interesting, guys. The XG is in Liverpool's side significantly, but um, Liverpool, man, they just were terrible on the day. And the thing is, I think those wins over Newcastle and Everton were not even that good wins because keep in mind, guys, that Everton win. It was just two goals were against run of play. And that Newcastle game, they only scored those two goals in the first 20 minutes. And then from that point on, Newcastle were actually the better team and Allison happy to make those saves. And so that's the thing with Liverpool is that they're not really a consistent team. Like they're consistent for like half of the game, but not like the full entire game. And like I said for before, man, Liverpool, man, this is just embarrassing. To lose 5-2 at home to Real Madrid to get embarrassed in that kind of fashion is just inexcusable unexplainable and you know Real Madrid is not that team that usually humiliates their opponents like that they're usually not that kind of team they usually or a team that just know is just known for winning Byron is usually known for doing this like see if Liverpool had played Byron oh man Byron would have shown no mercy Byron would have made it six seven you know they're lucky they played Real Madrid because Byron would have destroyed them annihilated them if the, if they were in Real Madrid's position so as I said man for a Liverpool man they have to hold their heads in shame and we're going to have to have a discussion about this tomorrow on the live stream, guys. And uh, Liverpool fans, I need you guys to show up, man, because this there's a lot of explaining you guys need to do because this is unacceptable. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for today from my um, point of view. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, like this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new out here. Comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember, guys, to share this video with your friends, of course. And also consider becoming a member of the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.